Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited to do a full face of NYX Cosmetics. What inspired this video is that they just came out with a collaboration with Beetlejuice 2. So I picked up a couple of those products. I am looking forward to playing with them. If that sounds like fun, then just keep watching. The only makeup that I have on my face right now is my brows, and you know I have been singing the praises of this Powder Louder pencil. It is just amazing. It is a sharpened pencil with a spoolie. It adds volume to the brows. It is so easy and simple to use, and today I wanted to try a couple of the other NYX products that I have in my drawer. So I first went in with the Lift and Snatch, and I have mine in the shade Espresso, which is too dark. I should pick up a lighter shade. I also used the Thicket Slick It, also I believe in Espresso. Yes, both too dark, not loving the brows, but I think that's my fault. These are nice products, but I'm loving this. I'll start with my face, and the products that I have to use on my face are the Pro Fix Sticks. I have Natural, which is much lighter than the Classic Tan. I like both of these. I also have the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer, and this is in the shade Natural, which is funny. It seems darker than this one. Let me just swatch them. Classic Tan. Natural in the Pro Fix Stick. And Natural in the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. So what I'll probably do is use this on my face and this under my eyes. I did go to the dermatologist yesterday for the first time. Better late than never, right? And talk to her about this acne situation that has been plaguing me for the last couple of months. And she was very helpful. Basically just said that uh, it is hormonal maybe menopausal. She gave me like an antibiotic and she also gave me tretinoin, which I'm kind of excited about. Here is the natural pro fix stick that I'm going to use under my eyes. Oh, I forgot. I do have this in pink as well. I just forgot it. I do really like both of these products. I'm going to take my Morphe A24 and just tap this in. So it was a good experience. I also had a body scan, which is a little scary because she did take samples of two marks on my body. So say a little prayer if you don't mind. I am vowing to be better about my sunscreen on a daily basis. I am guilty of not always using it if I'm not leaving the house. I'm not spending the day in the sun, I don't typically put it on, but I will now, especially using that tretinoin because I'm told it becomes super important when you're using that. It looks pretty good except this spot right here, maybe here. So I'll leave that on there for another couple minutes. It's supposed to be 100 degrees today. I'm already warm. <laughs> Just tapping this in lightly. This is a EcoTools concealer brush. It's called the Angled Concealer. It's the Can't Stop, Won't Stop powder. I was thinking about other products from NYX that I would like to try, and I know Angie Nequist, I believe, likes the yellow powder from NYX. Is it the HD? I'm gonna look into that because I don't love this powder under my eyes. And definitely mention in the comments what your favorite NYX products are. I would love to hear it. I did pick up a new mascara today because I realized I had never tried a mascara from NYX. So it's high time I tried. I have this powder in the shade Light Medium. Very lightweight, mattifying. I dig it. I have my Buttermelt Bronzer in Deserve Butter. It is a nice one. I'm using my Jasmine Beauty Bronzer brush for that. 
I did wash all of my brushes. I love that. Nothing like a fresh brush. Love that bronzer. Smooth as silk, easy to blend. I have the Buttermelt Blush in all the butter. Not as much of a favorite as the bronzer, but I do like it. It's just super pigmented. Could just be the shade that I got. So I have to go in with a feather light touch or I look crazy. This is a Morphe A22, which is good when you want to go in light. Speaking of blushes and Angie Nyquist, I did pick up her new blushes. I picked up her blush brush. Should be coming soon. Can't wait. I'm a big fan of Angie. Another new product for me, not new to the market, is this Line Loud Liner. I do have one in my testing makeup for August. I'll pop up a picture and it's a nice liner but it's a little bit dry and it's not super long lasting. This one I couldn't help myself. I opened it when I got it from Ulta. I tested it on my hand and it looks very promising. Here we go and let's just throw it on. This reminds me very much of the new Maybelline liner. What is it called? The Lifter liner. By the way mine is in the shade Global Citizen. I'm gonna take a little profusion small pointed E56 and just buff out these edges because I have a new Beetlejuice lip gloss to play with. This is the Beetlejuice Sandworm Swirl Butter Gloss. Color looks a little scary like a grayish purple. Let's go over here. Look at that. I am very interested. The butter gloss is a nice formula. Not sure it matches perfectly with my liner but I like it. It's got like a gray purple tinge to it. Let's get into this eyeshadow palette, shall we? This is the Beetlejuice color for the recently deceased. How cute is that? I love the green and purple. You open it up. It's got your number here. <laughs> and then these pretty shades. I'm a big fan of the Beetlejuice movie and I cannot wait. I believe the new one comes out September 6th. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Her shade is Nightmare Material. Looks to be like a deep purpley black. Next we have Bio Exorcism. Afterlife Forever. That is stunning and way softer than this one. Pearly Gates. Winter River. Beautiful. Ghoul Squad. Again, a nice texture. So far, the only one I didn't like was this one. Shrinker, Great Beyond. That's an impressive white. This is my AOA E129. I really like this Shrinker as a transition shade. So that may be the transition for both sides. I have not tried NYX shadows in a very long time. This looks good. I'm going to take a clean E129 and go into this great beyond. I just use it to blend. Super light-handed. I'll go into this nightmare material, which might be a mistake because this is the one that I didn't care for. It might be beautiful on the eye. And I love a good dark outer corner. Just pressing it on. It does have a lot of different reflective glitters in it. It just doesn't feel quite as smooth as the other ones. I'm going to take an MOTD pigment packer and I'm going to try it with the brush because it is not looking good. I don't like that. I'm going to go in with the purple next. This is Ghoul Squad and I'm going to put it right over and maybe even cover that patchy spot. All right, that does look better. Maybe it was a mistake using a shimmer in that outer corner. And go into that bio exorcism. And just take it a little bit above. Just to bring that purple a little higher. And now I'll go into this afterlife forever. That was my favorite shade that I swatched. I'm gonna go right next to that purple. Mm -hmm. 
definitely my favorite shade so far. I'll take the small pointed and go back into shrinker, which is be boring on the bottom. I'm just gonna take this all the way across. Now for the other side, let's see, I have the blue and silver to play with. Oh, I already know where I'm going. Maybe not shocking, but I think it will be very pretty. Let's hope that the blue cooperates better than this nightmare material did. But I love this shrinker shade. It is a perfect cool toned brown and I'm not having any problems with that. Do the same thing with my small pointed going into the great beyond. I think I'll use this for my inner corner on both sides as well. That'll look pretty. Now for this winter river. That's gonna go right here. Oh, that's so pretty. Just sort of patting and pressing. Mmm. Go into that same small pointed eyeshadow back into that winter river. Just pull it up a little bit higher. And now I'm going to go into that pearly gates, that pretty silver. I'm going to put it in the inner, inner. Oh, look at that. Just blending it into that blue. Very nice. Same thing with that shrinker underneath. All right, it is looking good. I'm going to go back into that great beyond, this white. This is a ColourPop E21, and I'm just going to tap this right in my inner, inner, inner corner. A little bit up here. And the last new product that I have to try is the mascara. I have never tried the On The Rise Volume Mascara from NYX. Intense volume and serious elevation. Yes, please. Cute packaging. It is a different kind of wand. Let's go in. You've noticed I haven't been using a lot of liner lately. I'm just in a no liner phase. Um, Nyx, where are you? Getting much, guys. One coat. I'll keep trying to build it up, and I'll be right back. I'm back, and this one I'm not super impressed right now. I did get some volume, but I really had to work at it. This was three plus coats. Maybe it's one that needs to be open for a little while. I will for sure keep you posted. It's not horrible, but I'm not wowed. It actually looks really nice on the bottom lashes though. Final thoughts. The Beetlejuice inspired butter gloss, absolutely. The lips feel great. It is the classic butter gloss formula. I love the purpley gray shade. It doesn't look like death, but it's a little unique and special and comfortable. The color palette for the recently deceased. This I really did enjoy playing with. And I will tell you, I realized as I was putting on the mascara that I never put an eyeshadow primer on. I don't have one from NYX. I'm not even sure that they have one. I don't own it. So I had every intention of putting concealer on my eyelids and I didn't do it. So I have to give this one a little bit of a pass for that. I do strongly believe that you need eyeshadow primer, for, so forgive me for that blunder. The only shade that really didn't cooperate with me was the Nightmare Material down here. And I could even tell from the swatch that it felt much grittier than the others. So I would say that this is a little bit of a bum shade. I have a little bit of fallout over on this eye. It's not horrible. I did my best to wipe it away. But as far as the eye looks, I like them. I like them a lot. I adore this afterlife forever. And I'm really in an anti-green phase right now. I don't want to play with green eyeshadow. I don't wear green clothing. I don't know what's going on. But this, yes, this was beautiful. I had a lot of fun with this one. All of the other products I am comfortable with, I know. 
let me know what you think about this new Beetlejuice collection. Let me know, are you a Beetlejuice fan? Are you going to be going to see the second movie? I for sure am. This is a limited collection, so I will have it listed and linked in the description box below, along with all of the other products that I use today. Some are affiliate links, so if you choose to shop with those links, I make a small commission, and I want to thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you leave. I upload videos on Mondays and Saturdays and would love for you to join me. If you subscribe, it is free of charge. It also will let you know when I put up a new video or short. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up and of course leave me a comment. I love chatting with you in the comment section, even if it's just a heart to let me know you were there. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day.